Yeah, so BOD, the investors uh, reacting to an event last night, BOD hosting, showcasing uh, ultra-fast charging cars, a whole new lineup mm -hmm. of models that we based on a uh, much more powerful, robust battery. What if the biggest pain point of owning an electric vehicle, waiting around for it to charge, was suddenly erased? That's exactly what BYD is aiming to do with its latest breakthrough, a battery system that can add up to 400 kilometers of range in just five minutes. From street-level convenience to grid-level infrastructure, this is more than just a speed boost, it's a reset button on EV expectations. But how does BYD's tech actually work? And can Tesla catch up anytime soon? Well, let's find out. On March 17, 2025, BYD took to the stage at its Shenzhen headquarters for what many expected to be a routine tech update. What they got instead was an announcement that left the global EV industry scrambling to catch up. Wang Chunfu, the company's CEO and founder, presented what he called the Super E platform, a charging system capable of delivering a jaw-dropping 1,000 kilowatts of power. That's not a prototype or a test lab claim, it's been demonstrated using production-ready vehicles. In real-world conditions, this system added 400 kilometers of range in five minutes. That's equivalent to topping up most of your battery while grabbing a snack. This wasn't just a one-off tech stunt. They unveiled a new product architecture that's already being installed in upcoming production models, starting with the Han L sedan and Tang L SUV. Both vehicles will hit the Chinese and European markets in April 2025, meaning BYD has the battery ready to go. What made the announcement stand out was the certainty and transparency. While most automakers tease upcoming advances years before release, BYD skipped the usual hype cycle. They showed test data, vehicle compatibility, and infrastructure plans all in one go. Investors responded quickly, BYD's stock jumped 6% pushing its valuation to just under $162 billion. This isn't just another battery launch because it fundamentally shifts what's considered fast in EV terms. Until now, 250 kilowatts charging speeds were seen as cutting edge. BYD just quadrupled that and made it available next month. But how does this system work? How can BYD safely push one megawatt of power into a car without overheating it or damaging the battery? To understand the magic behind those five-minute charges, we have to look at the technology powering the Super E platform. The Super E platform is BYD's most ambitious and technically advanced system yet. And it's not just about speed, it's about scale, stability, and sustainability. At its center is a charging milestone no other automaker has hit. 1,000 kilowatts of power delivered to a vehicle battery. That's one megawatt. As we had mentioned, most of today's fastest EV chargers max out at 250 kilowatt. Tesla's next generation chargers expected to reach 500 kilowatts are still half of what BYD is offering right now. But handling 1,000 kilowatts isn't simply about making cables thicker or inverters stronger. It demands a full ecosystem of innovations that allow power to flow rapidly without causing damage. The Super E platform integrates a high voltage, high amperage system capable of pushing up to 1,000 amps into the battery pack. That's a huge amount of current, and with it comes one of the biggest engineering challenges, heat. To solve that, BYD designed a multi-layer cooling architecture that's significantly more advanced than traditional liquid-cooled EV systems. Instead of only cooling around the battery, this setup cools directly at the cell level, with sensors constantly measuring temperature and adjusting coolant flow in real time. This keeps every part of the battery pack within optimal operating range, even under full-speed charging, which significantly reduces thermal stress and wear. The platform also features intelligent power management, Rather than dumping power into the battery in a single surge, the system balances and distributes current across multiple modules, ensuring consistent delivery while avoiding voltage spikes or uneven wear. Combined with smart charging software, this allows the battery to reach peak charge rate within seconds and hold it longer, something most EVs today can't do, as they typically taper off early to protect the battery. BYD also claims that this architecture is modular and scalable, meaning the same principles can be adapted across their vehicle lineup, 
from performance sedans to delivery vans. This gives them a production edge. Once the infrastructure is in place, the system can be used across models with minimal redesign. So now that we've unpacked the tech behind this platform, it's time to ask, is anyone else even close? Let's compare this leap with Tesla's current infrastructure and see who's really leading the charge. Tesla's supercharger network has long been its crown jewel. With over 65,000 superchargers worldwide, no other automaker comes close in terms of coverage. The network is fast, reliable, and vertically integrated, meaning Tesla controls the hardware, software, and user experience from end to end. But while it's big on reach, it's now showing its age on speed. As of now, the majority of Tesla's superchargers are V3 units, which peak at 250 kilowatts. That allows a Model 3 or Model Y to recover about 200 miles in 15 minutes under ideal conditions. Tesla has started rolling out its V4 superchargers, rated for 500 kilowatts, but even those haven't hit full deployment or compatibility across the fleet. And critically, most existing Tesla vehicles can't take advantage of 500 kilowatts charging because their battery and thermal systems cap out far below that. Tesla also faces a hardware bottleneck. To match BYD's pace, it would need more than just upgraded chargers. It would require re-engineered vehicle platforms, better battery cooling, and significantly more robust onboard charging systems. That's not a software update. It's a physical redesign. While Tesla can adapt, doing so at scale across its global fleet takes time and billions in investment. So can Tesla catch up? Technically, yes. Tesla has the resources, engineering talent, and manufacturing footprint to respond. But the question is how quickly and whether they're willing to prioritize ultra-fast charging over other projects like autonomous driving or robotics. As it stands today, BYD has taken a lead in an area where Tesla was once untouchable. But having the fastest charging is only one part of the equation. So how does BYD plan to actually support this system on the ground? What kind of infrastructure does it take to back a 1,000 kilowatts promise? Let's take a closer look. Fast charging isn't just about what a car can handle. It's about where that power comes from. BYD knows this better than anyone, which is why they're not stopping at the vehicle. Alongside the launch of their Super E platform, they've announced an aggressive rollout of over 4,000 high-capacity charging stations across China, specifically designed to support their new 1,000 kilowatts tech. These aren't small city center chargers. They're grid-ready mega chargers built to push an entire ecosystem forward. Each of these stations will be capable of delivering energy levels most networks today simply can't handle. A single one megawatt charger draws as much power as a small commercial building. That means BYD isn't just setting up chargers, they're upgrading electrical infrastructure across the board. Substations, transformers, cooling systems, everything has to scale with the platform. It's a huge undertaking, but BYD has the advantage of working closely with local governments and utility providers in China, allowing them to move faster and more efficiently than Western automakers could dream of. Now, the question is, can the rest of the world keep up? The U.S. is still expanding 150 to 250 kilowatts chargers, and even Europe's Ionity network, co-funded by automakers like BMW, VW, and Ford, is only targeting 350 kilowatt speeds in the near term. That's not even half of BYD's benchmark. If infrastructure doesn't scale with vehicle technology, all that engineering becomes bottlenecked by slow plugs and overloaded circuits. BYD's strategy shows they're thinking far beyond the showroom. They're building the next EV architecture, not just the cars, and that makes their lead feel harder to catch. So with all this cutting-edge tech and performance, how is BYD planning to roll it out to the world? Let's talk about BYD's global expansion strategy. BYD isn't just building the fastest charging EVs they're planning to dominate, starting at home. In China, BYD has already claimed the top spot, outselling every other automaker, including foreign heavyweights like Tesla. In February 2025, they sold over 318,000 passenger vehicles in a single month, marking a 161% year-over-year increase. That momentum isn't slowing down anytime soon. 
With China as its launchpad, BYD is now setting its sights on Europe. Countries like Germany, dishing it the Netherlands and Norway, already comfortable with EVs, are key targets. And BYD isn't entering the market tentatively. Their upcoming models, including the Han L sedan and Tang L SUV, equipped with Super E platform tech, are priced aggressively and come loaded with features that challenge even premium European brands. They've already partnered with local distributors and are establishing service networks to avoid the teething issues many new entrants face. But when it comes to the U.S., BYD is staying on the sidelines, at least for now. Legal and regulatory barriers, including stiff tariffs on Chinese-made vehicles, make direct entry difficult. There's also growing political tension around Chinese tech companies expanding into American markets. BYD knows the U.S. is a, is a high-risk, high-reward game, and for the moment, they're choosing to double down where the path is clearer. Still, with the EV space heating up globally, it's only a matter of time before the pressure builds to bring this tech to American shores, whether through partnerships, local manufacturing, or policy shifts. For now, BYD is content taking over the markets it can reach, and doing it faster than anyone expected. So, what do you think about BYD's insane 5-minute charging breakthrough? Would you trust your next road trip to a car that charges faster than your phone? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your take. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more future-driven tech stories just like this. Until next time, stay curious.